Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N R Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here, GMAT Review, the official guide, 13th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we're about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 280. And today is our lesson number 76. Problem number 280 is a data sufficiency problem. Problem number 60. Problem number 60. <coughs> We are told that negative 25 plus 19 plus 7 n equals s. And the question simply is, how much is n? It's a very straightforward, simple problem. That's what I don't understand about these people. They, uh, they go from sublime to ridiculous. Some problems they give you are very interesting, they're challenging, that make you think. And then they go to straight to one other problem where it's just babyish. This is a very straightforward problem. The very first thing I'm going to do is simplify this thing. I got negative 25 here and a positive 19. So this, that's a negative 6 plus n equals s. Since we are interested in n, therefore n equals s plus 6. And the very first statement they tell and the very and the very first statement they tell us that s equals 2. You see how simple it is? It's, it's, it's just too ridiculous. All the way the waste of time. S equals 2, of course n is going to be 8. N is 2 plus 6, it's 8. The first statement, of course we didn't have to do this part, but I couldn't resist myself, it's too simple. And therefore, A, D, B, C, E. And since the first statement by itself is enough, the answer cannot be B, C, or E. It can be B, C, or E. Let's look at the second statement. In the second statement, they tell us that N over S equals 4 which is same as s being equal to n over 4. n over 4. If you put it in there, that should be enough. Because this is one equation here. There's one independent equation. There's another independent equation. Of course, we have two independent equations. We can solve for n and s. Second, second statement by itself is also enough. The answer is C. Uh, answer, uh, answer is D. The answer is D. Both statements by themselves, individually, independently, are enough to answer the question. Let's just finish it up. It's too simple. If we put it back in here, we get n equal to s plus 6 and s is n over 4. So it's n over 4 plus 6. Multiply everything by 4. We get 4n equal to n plus 24. Subtract n from both sides and we get 3n equal to 24 and therefore n equals to 8. And of course n equals to 8 because that's exactly what we found in the previous statement. These two statements never contradict each other. If n turned out to be 8, based on the information from the first statement, then it better turn out to be 8 based on the information in the second statement. And if it does not, something has gone wrong somewhere, either in the first statement or the work you did with the second statement. But they always are consistent. Do you understand? That's it. Let's do one more, shall we? Let me get rid of this marker. This is dying. Let's do one more. If I can find some more black marker, that would be wonderful. Let's, let's do one more. This one is dying too. Number 61. Number 61. It says, everybody got everybody got either one scoop or two scoops. Question simply is how many people? How many people did we serve the ice cream? If you just give me one second, I'm going to grab a bag here and I'm going to see if I have any black marker in it because this is annoying me. This thing is completely dead. Oh, there we go. Oh, right, golly. What do you know? We got a whole bunch of them here. All right. 
So how many people? That's the question here. The first statement tells us the first statement tells us that sixty percent got two spoofs. This is a brand new marker. I don't know what the hell is wrong with them. Sixty percent got two scoops. Well, sixty percent got two scoops. That's not going to be enough to, to answer the question: How many people are there all together? I meant to say, no. The first statement by itself is not enough. A, D, B, C, D. The first statement by itself does not do the job. Simply knowing that sixty percent of the people got two scoops, it does not help at all in figuring it out how many people are there because some of some of them got two scoops, some of them got one scoop, and for that matter, we don't even know how many scoops were served. So it doesn't do anything. Second statement tells us the total of 120 scoops were served. Ah. Second statement by itself does not do anything. By itself it does not do anything because now we know that 120 scoops were served, but we don't know how many people got one scoop and how many people got two scoops before we can figure out how many total scoops were given. We need to know the breakdown. How many got one scoop? How many got two scoop? We do not know that. Second statement by itself is also no good. So the first statement by itself was not, not enough. That means answer cannot be A or D. We just found out second statement by itself is also not enough. Answer cannot be B. Let's put them together. If you put them together, one and two, Then we have, I'm going to use, how many people, I'm going to use n for the number of people. So we have, why don't we start from the top? Let's start the whole thing from the top. We don't need any of this thing now. We're going to put them together and we're going to start from the top. So the first statement tells us that 60% of people got two scoops. So 0 0.6 times n, n is the number of people, n is the number of people, 60% of them got two scoops. So that's how many scoops were served to those 60% of people, which means the remaining 40%, remaining 40%, 40% of n must have gotten one scoop. And the sum of these two from the second statement we are told is 120. And of course that's going to be enough. It's a simple straightforward equation we just have to solve for n. And we will be able to find the end. The answer is C. The answer is C. That's it. As far as the exam is concerned, we are done. But we're going to continue anyway, just, just for some practice, just, just, to, just, to, just to improve our math skill. So 0 0.6 times 2 is 1.2. 1.2 times n plus 0.4 n equals 120. 1.2 plus 0.4 is 1.6. 1.6 n equals 120. Therefore, n equals... 120 over 1.6. Multiply the top and the bottom by 10, and you will find that n equals 1200 over 16. 1200 over 16. Let's divide top and bottom by 4 first. So this becomes 4, this becomes 3. 300 divided by 4, 300 divided by 4, half of 300 is 150, and half of 150 is 75. This is 75 n equals 75. In other words, there were 75 people huh, at the party or at the gathering or at the powwow, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Should we verify this thing? I want to verify this thing. Let's verify it here. Of course, none of this nonsense you will do in the real exam. Do you understand? We have 75 people, 60% of 75%, 60% of 75, 60% is same as 3 fifths. 3 fifths of 75. How many fives in the 7? 7 has 1 5. The remaining two goes and joins the five, becomes becomes twenty-five. Becomes twenty-five. And how many fives in twenty-five? It has five fives. Three times fifteen is forty-five. Forty-five represents sixty percent of seventy-five. Forty-five represents sixty percent of seventy-five. And we are told that sixty percent of people got two scoops. So if you multiply this by two, that's ninety scoops. The remaining forty percent. If this, is 70, if this is 45, and all together we have 75 people, 45 got two scoops, which means the remaining 30 must have gotten one scoop 
feet. And that's your 30 right there for a total of 120 scoops that we are told. We are told that there are a total of 120 scoops and of course it makes sense. As I said, all of this is not, not for the exam. As far as the exam was concerned, we were done a long time ago. Even before we set up this equation, we should, you, we should be able to figure out immediately that if the second statement tells us that 120 scoops were served, and the first statement tells us that 60% of them got two scoop, the remaining 40% must have gotten one scoop. We can figure out how many scoops were served then. That's it. And once, once we know, uh, or rather we can figure out how many people were um, there must have been from the equation that we have here. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.